Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be reviewing percentages, particularly just this is an introduction to percentages. Percent means out of 100 and is represented using the percent symbol here. So here I have one square out of this hundred square. And I know it's a hundred square because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns. Because ten times ten is one hundred. So if I take one out, it says one of one hundred is equal to one percent. If I grab this whole column where it was 10, it'd be 10 of 100 or 10%. If you score 79 out of 100 in an exam at school, you would say you had 79%. How much of this 100 square would it take? Well, if we have 10 right here, 20, 30, that's 40, 50, 60, 70, okay, and then I'm going to have nine more. So there's t nine right here. That's 79% of the hundreds frame is covered. I can also say that I have 10, 21. I missed making 100 by 21%. 79 plus 21 is 100. Let's look at another example. If your table partner scored 65 out of 100, they would have scored 65% of the exam correct. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 65% of that 100 frame is covered. So that's what they scored correctly. Now if we look at it the other way, we have 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 35 percent was missed or 65 percent plus 35 percent is equal to 100 percent. Using a hundred frame is one way to represent percentages. Each square represents one percent. Therefore if 36 squares out of 100 are colored in orange you would say 36 percent is being shown in orange. So I have 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 36 percent. You can also say that 64 percent are not colored orange. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. See how that works with the hundreds frame? There are other ways to represent percentages. On top is a bar model where the whole represents 100. Each square represents 10 percent. How do I know that? It's because right here there's one, two, and that represents 20 percent. We can also count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent. On the bottom, it's a bar, it's a bar model as well. However, there's fewer rectangles here are squares. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So I know that five times 20 is equal to 100. So this must be 20%. Let's practice. Calculate the missing percentages. So if I have 40 and five, so that's 45 plus 30, that's going to be 75. What's the missing percentage? 25. How do I know? I can say, well, this is 100%, 100, and I know that I have 45 plus 30, which is 75, and I subtract from that, so again, I'm, I'm, that's going to be 9 and 10, so 10 minus 5 is 5, and 9 minus 7 is 2, there's 25. So that's how I was able to solve that problem. Let's look at the bar model below. So here I see that two segments of this line here is worth 40. So if I say, well, there's 20, 
40, 60, 80, 100. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what do we have here? So if this is 40, let's say this is 40 right here. So I don't, I'm going to say this is 20. This is 60, 80, 100. So what I can do is say, well, you know, this is going to be 20, 40, 60. So that's 60. And this is 20. Now, is that 120%? Yes, it can be. But I know that because of this value right here, that's 40. Let's look at the model below. What's the percentage of squares that are colored red? Well, if this one is worth 25, we can count by 25s. 25, 50, 75. So in red is 75, because I'm going to put in 25 here, 25 here. So that's going to be 75% R red. How many percent are just white? Well, if one square is equal to 25, it's just going to be, that's just 25% right there. And 25% plus 75% is equal to 100%. Quiz time. What I want you to do is think about these. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper. You can pause the video at this time to go over this. But listen to me for the questions. Number one, what does percent mean? Out of 10, out of 100, or out of 1,000? Well, if we look at this, I, I purposely put it as per cent because it's per is out of and cent you remember century that is a century is 100 years we have cent so here we go so it's definitely going to be this one right here because it's not out of 10 and it's not out of 1000 number two if the cat's tummy represents 65 percent of her body what percentage makes up the rest Well, let's look at her body. So we have 65%. And that's going to be of 100. So of 100. So I can subtract that from 100. Again, do that. Make this a 9 instead of a 0. And that a 10 because I'm just borrowing from each other. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 6 is 3. So right here, 35%. Number 3. Carmen has a bag of candy. She eats 45% of them. What percentage is left? Could it be 65, 50, or 55%? Well, you're looking at that. You say, well, 40 and 65, that's, well, that's, a, well, that's not quite, because 60 plus 40 is 100%. So I have 10 more percent. 50 plus 45 is going to be 95%, but 55 plus so let's do that 55 plus 45 equals and there's 5 plus 5 is 10 put this over in the tens that's 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 4 is 10 that gives me 100 that's my answer see how you can take the time to double check and validate what you think your answer is number four Isley completes 55% of his homework after school. After dinner, he completes 20%. How much does he have left to complete? Well, let's take a look at this. How much did he complete? Well, we can add up those percentages. There's 55% plus 20% plus 20% plus 20%. So there's 5. And so he completed 75%. Now, I can subtract uh, 75 from 100, or I can just add, is 75 plus 20 equal to 100? No, because that'd be 95%. 25 plus 75 
definitely is going to be that. And it can't be zero because 75 is not 100. So that's that 25% right here. Again, learn how to count by 25s. It's like counting for a dollar, four quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100. Number five, if the cat's head represents 22% of its body, what percent makes up the rest of its body? 22 plus 35, that's going to be like 57. So nope, can't do that one. 20 plus 80 is 100, but I have 22%. So that can't be that one, so it must be 78%. Let's validate 78% plus 22, 8 plus 2 is 10, 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, so I have 100. And I keep on remembering, I need to remember to put that percent over here, because that's going to be required, there's 75%. There we go. That's it for day for introduction to percentages. Remember to be a math person. All you have to be is a person that does math. Please like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Have a great day.